Why, hello, beautiful people. We are back today. We're going to do the bun cake, finally. Pound cake, bun cake, whatever. My, uh, oh, this looks awfully close, don't it? Let me see if I can... No, I guess not. Okay. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> we're going to do this today. I've got all my oils ready, my lye. Uh, let's see, we're going to do it in a brown color. I'm going to add your joke. Oh, my beads. <laughs> and then we're going to put some oatmeal. About three tablespoons because it's about three pounds. Normally I'm used to working with two pounds. Even with my cakes, I don't think my cakes are that, that many pounds, but get our gloves on our PPE personal protection equipment and uh, yeah we need a stick on there right goodness gracious people I need to get it together today it is Sunday Whoa, almost spilled that fragrance. I was about to be crying. But yeah, it's Sunday. Sunday fun day. I need to get this mess cleaned up a little bit over here. I am so unorganized over here right now. Okay. Um, yeah, it's Sunday, and so... I'm really hoping I get a phone call tomorrow that I've been waiting for. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if I've put up that video yet or not. But in my last one of my last videos, last couple videos, I can't remember which one, I had mentioned that I um, quit my job at FedEx. Uh, it was only part time. Uh, I made decent money. It was like sixteen something an hour. Um, but I mean, even at part time, and you could eventually get full time. I there it's just it would take at least a year or two and i just can't do it was a half hour drive so half hour there half hour back i was putting forty dollars in gas in my car because uh, i own a dodge charger so it takes up quite a bit of gas to get to one place to another from one place to another um but by the time i was done putting my gas in my car and all that through the week i only brought home like 250 dollars and i mean so i put in for uh a place here in town that I've been trying to get on it's one of the very few factories left here in my town that pay good and they finally called me I bugged the crap out of them and they finally called me so I went and took my drug screen in my back uh, yeah my drug screen in my background last Tuesday and I'm really hoping that they call me tomorrow because I'm getting very very anxious so I'm, I've got my fingers crossed that they call me tomorrow I know I'm going to pass both I don't have a record I mean, they asked for seven years back, and the only thing I have is an open container, which was in 2003, and it was a wine cooler. I guess that's the only thing he could find to get me on when he pulled me over. And it was bone dry. It wasn't like I was drinking. I do not drink and drive. I have kids. I would never do that. But, uh, and then like a failure to control dog. That's where me and my grandma's dog kept getting out of our yard. It was a Labrador and a Schnauzer. It wasn't like it was a mean old you know, angry dog, um, and then a uh, noise ordinance, which I play my music loud, so it was all back in 2002 and 2003, so I know my record, my, my background is clean. So... I'm not too worried about my background, and I know I don't do drugs, so I know my drug test is good. I hate it. I'm going to put a little bit of milk in this, you guys. I'm probably going to regret it, but sometimes milk just messes it up. Um, and like I said, I'm going to color it a little bit brown, and I'm going to put a whole bunch of beads in it. Ooh, I didn't mean to slam my microwave that hard. And this time I am dispersing my colorant. 
and a some oil. I'm not trying to mess. I got them oxides, and they're so hard to mix up when they're not dispersing oil. So, where'd my little mixy thing go? There she is. So I'm really hoping I get this call this week, and I hope it's sooner than later. Because I'm ready to get back to work. That's a pretty brown. I love that. I might have to get... I got an order waiting for uh, Crafter's Choice uh, wholesale, wholesale Supplies Plus for some colorants. But I would really like to go to Nurture Soap and get that mocha brown. I love that brown. It's so pretty. Mixed with anything, it's any other brown is really pretty. Because as you can see, the oxide that I got, I think it's oxide, yeah, the brown oxide I got from TKB, it's just plain old ugly. <laughs> so I mix a little bit of this with it, and it makes it so much better. All right, let's get this. Uh, and I believe my fragrance, which is the 7-Up Pound Cake, Oh, it smells so good. But I do believe it has vanilla in it. But I had to get that flavor, that scent, for this certain soap. I didn't want it scented any other thing. Because that just wouldn't be right. I'm making a pound cake, not, you know. Here comes my son and his cousin. Mother. Yes. Do you eat anymore? No, why? It's all right. Why? We're gonna make these. Ooh, yummy. You want to go or do you want some for there? I'll just take a what you call it? Uh oh. No. Oh, they do serve breakfast all day, don't they? No, uh, mocha, frappuccino, okay. frappe. You're hungry. Yeah, just go ahead and get me some breakfast. You want a pancake thing? Yeah, that's fine. What else? With bacon. With bacon? No sausage. No sausage? Yeah, no sausage. Huh? What do you want to do? Wink, orange juice? Uh, yeah, that's fine. OJ's fine. OJ's fine, and when I get extra money or get money on the bank, I'll pay back. Okay. No, I want to put my money in. And it said my card cannot be processed after I, already, I put it in and everything. And I put deposit, put the amount, gave me the envelope, or gave me an envelope, put the amount, push correct, it said, please contact your institution. Wow. Your card cannot be processed. What? After. And I tried to get balance for it. Said a dollar and fifty-six cents on my phone. And it didn't let me get a balance thing either. It said your card cannot be processed. And they never sent you one of the new ones, did they? I have to pay my motorcycle insurance. What does it do? Tomorrow or something? I have to do it today. Oh, like, because it takes two days to go on my account. But if, I don't know how it'll work if I go up there and pay the audit acceptance. Can you do that? I can't remember if they said you could do that. Yeah, I think I can. I Maybe, have to get a, what's your phone? Will Dad let you run through there tomorrow or something? I mean. What? To the bank. He's going to have to. He's going to have to drop you by there or something. you got to get your insurance paid. Except that you, you don't think they're open today? Uh, I don't know. It's like, well, just get a watch them and pay it. But then my bank account's still going to be in the negative probably because of Netflix and stuff. Actually, it doesn't pay that stuff. It doesn't take that stuff out. I don't know. So I won't have Apple Music. I didn't see anything in the mail. My heart. I oh, no, I haven't people, either. Unless they actually sent me the chip. That's what I'm saying. They, they told me I had to hurry up and do mine. They, they I didn't want to activate it at first. And they sent me an email saying you have to activate it. And I'm like, I don't want to activate it. So, I don't know. I could stop by there and see if it does it again. I would. If I am. Or I can go to a different, <clears throat> different ATM. Yeah, try a different ATM real quick, like North Limes or something. 
so can you? I'm gonna do that before we get food. So. Okay, so you want pancakes, bacon, and orange juice? Yep. <laughs> we'll be back, Bobby. All right, be careful. Love you. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I just got it through that hole. What an idiot! I knew I was gonna do that. It was pouring too fast. Silly old me. I'll just have to move this and scrape it up and get it out of there, won't I? Oh my god, it smells so good. Sorry about that, guys. That was my son. For some reason, his bank machine ain't taking his card. They sent us some new bank uh, cards. They sent mine a long time ago uh, for the uh, with the chip in it because uh, we do Security National, and they sent us the new cards with the chip in it. But they never sent it to him or my daughter because they both bank with the same bank here. Oh, I can't believe I just went through there. That's so silly of me. Now tomorrow I'm going to have to take, when I take this out, I'm going to take it out, do it upside down, and I'm going to put, um, whoa, I should have put this on something. Dag it. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, guys, I wasn't thinking on that one. Let's move this before it gets too fluid here. Jamie and Christmas, Christina. We're too unfluid. There we go. We'll just scrape this up. Throw it right in there. <laughs> Waste not, want not, right? Sorry, guys, I'm going to make a mess with this one. This is my first time using this little mold. My husband found it. He does clean outs and houses, and he's like, you want this? I said, I sure do. I've had it for a while. I've been sitting on it. So, all right, let's see here. I'm going to do just a little bit of a swirl on here with this brown. I was going to do the whole thing brown, but I was like, what's the point in putting the Jehovah beads in there? But I'm just going to cover them up, right? Too bad I can't do this on the, I should have done this on the bottom. Dang it. Well, you live and you learn. Next time I do this mold, I'll be doing this first. <laughs> I forgot this is upside down right now. So, I'll just pour as high as I can. I don't want all the pretty designs on the bottom, man. Christina! She ain't even at Christmas. Good thing I'm wearing an old shirt. That scared me. I thought it was about to go everywhere. My hand's a bit slippery. That's probably all you guys can see is my hand right now. Okay. Ugh, goodness gracious. That's a pretty brown. Mixed up to be like a chocolate. Yep, got it on my shirt. Oh well. You just wipe it off a little bit. <laughs> Let me wipe my edges off. Um, where's my stirry stick? Okay, we live and we learn, right guys? Hopefully this does some kind of swirl on the inside. Don't have to be all that because it's a bun cake. Sure does smell good, that's for sure. Of course this side's going to be so pretty. Hope the other side's going to be as pretty. All right, guys, that's it for now. Uh, I will be taking you or bringing you back for the unmolding. Um, the unmolding and the, uh, I'm going to just take melt and pour and pour it over the top and just make it run, make it run down the side like it's icing. I was going to put blackberries on it, but I used my blackberries for my blackberry bling bling soap. So, I could probably make more, but I don't know. I think, I think I'm going to leave the blackberries out of it. So, uh, there we are, guys. There is the bun cake, or pound cake, whatever you guys want to call it. And we're going to set this baby in the fridge. I do that with all my soaps. My very first loaf of soap I did not put in the fridge and she cracked big time. And then, oh, what 
was it the other day? Look what I did not do. What a silly goose. My son had me distracted. Oh well, I'm getting ready to make another loaf, so I'll use it now, I guess. Um, but yeah, and I did it the other day because I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. I normally put all of my loaves in this in the fridge, and for some reason I didn't do that one, and it cracked as well. Didn't crack as bad as my first one, but it cracked. So this is kind of like I don't know. I want it to be, I want it to be perfectly round. So maybe I can just put this on the side or something. Push it up a little bit. Because for some reason it's pushing out on this side. So but I don't want it to be flat. I just don't want it to push out. There we go. Alright, now. Alright guys, well stay tuned for the uh I guess you would say the frosting and the cut. <laughs> Thanks guys, have a great weekend. Alrighty guys, we're back with our abundant cake or our pound cake whatever you want to call it <laughs> I got uh, I've, I've took it out of, of its mold um, as you can see the bottom is so much prettier than the top of course but it smells divine it smells so good like you can eat it and here I have just some melt and pour white melt and pour um, I mixed some I wanted it to be a real light yellow so I mixed some of the sunshine yellow with some super sparkle and we are just going to pour over top of it. Hopefully this works out in my favor. Hopefully this makes it look like a cake. Abundant cake. And it don't do too awful bad on melting it. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. I don't want to do too much. Because um, then it won't look real. And then I am going to sprinkle some... Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah beads on top. Probably gonna melt my Jehovah beads, but that's alright. They're like melting in, my, in between my hands. That's so funny feeling. Awesome sauce, you guys. I think it looks awesome. Now I'm just gonna let this cool down a bit, and then I'll bring you guys back for the cutting. And... She shall be ready here in a little bit. I don't think it'll take that long. Definitely won't take that long for you guys, but it may take a little while for me. So, all right, guys, stay tuned. Okay, guys, we're back, and it is time to cut the bun cake. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I don't know how I want to cut it. <laughs> um, <sighs> I don't know if I want to cut it in. <laughs> I don't even want to cut it, you guys. Matter of fact, let me get a couple pictures before I do. <laughs> before I mess it up. Okay. Let me see. Put the knife next to it, maybe? Okay. Got a couple pictures now. Oh, goodness gracious. Help me. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep it on the line. Hopefully my mountain pour isn't too hard and it don't not cut right looks so far so good and it's not sticking all that well so or all that much so I think we'll be okay <clears throat> should I cut it on each line like this and then they can cut it in half yeah I think that's what we'll do guys yeah, uh, yeah, that's what we will do. Okay, all right, cut right in half. Now, let's see if I can pick it up out of here. Ta da! Oh my goodness! Oh, it cracked just a little bit. Oh, it crumbled just a little bit. It's crumbly. What? I thought I had a good recipe. That's all right. We'll just push it back together, right? I'm still super proud of it. I don't know. It don't seem like it's too soft to cut, but it don't seem like it's too ready to cut either. So I don't know. It's still cute. Super duper cute. 
The only part that's messed up is right here, and I can fix that. Just like that. I guess I just got to be careful. I don't know what's going on inside there. All right, now. Let's set this aside. Oh, yeah, look at the inside swirls. Yay, bun cake. This was just for fun. I'm not... I don't know. My old man found the uh, mold, so I figured I'd give it a whirl. Nothing major. Okay, that one cut a little bit better. And we got a little bit missing on the edge here. I'll just push that back up on there. No big whoop. We got the side and the back. Just a little bit coming off, and that's it. Not too bad. Let's see if I can push this back on there. <laughs> see, it's still kind of soft, so I don't know why it's crumbling like that. Push that piece right back on there. Okay, there we go. Another piece of bun cake. Yay! I'm pushing my melt and pour down a little bit. Okay, another piece down. <sighs> Look, it's crumbling a little bit right there. See it? I'll just have to save that piece. And we'll just push it back on there. Not crumbling too bad, though. I think it's done decent. And be careful. Yay, this one did even better. I don't know what it is with that piece. The first couple pieces, I don't know. And my mountain pour is kind of coming off on that edge there. It's alright. It's still a success. I'm still happy with it. See, that side messed up, but this side's perfecto. Maybe it's the way I'm putting my knife or something. I don't know. As you guys can see, you can see the <laughs> Jehovah, Jehovah beads in there and it smells oh my god so delicious it smells like 7 up pound cake uh oh this one's going to crumble you guys I don't understand that the top of it got really dry or something mmm grr soap stop having a mind of your own soap hopefully I can pick it up without it and I can push it back on there. There we go. Yes. See? Not too bad. Yeah, see the top got real dry for some reason. I don't know. If it's the elements I live in or what? I mean, we have air conditioning, so... You stop that nonsense, boy. You don't need to bark because the neighbors bark. <coughs> Chewy! Stop it! Now, go lay down. Go get your bone. He's ridiculous, you guys. I'm sorry about that. He probably scared the holy world out of you. He's ridiculous. Anyways. I think that piece is a little bit bigger than the other ones. <laughs> oh, well. Um, let's see. Um, lay your butt down. You only went out there because the neighbor's barking. Yep, because I hear him. As a matter of fact, I think that's the dogs across the street. I don't even think that is the dog next door. That one almost came off too, guys, so i got to be careful. This side's okay. It took a little bit of a chunk out. Yeah, see, the top is so extremely soft. Huh. I don't understand that. Good thing that's the bottom, because that looks like crap. All kinds of little pieces sticking to it. Oh well. Bun cake isn't perfect either, is it? It's like food, right? <laughs> I thought I had a good recipe, but. Ooh, I just almost took a chunk out of that. St silly ass. Excuse my French. 
being careless over here. Oh, that one's going to choke too. What in the world is wrong with the top of this cake? Okay. Huh. Oh well. It is what it is. I'm still cutting it and it's still going to be decent bar of soap, that's for sure. These Jehovah beads have got my hands all feeling funny. <laughs> um, here and here. Yep. That turned out pretty perfect, honestly. <clears throat> I can pick it up without it crumbling off. Stupid cake. See, I just push it back on and it does just fine. But you can see it's starting to crack right here, too. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. I don't know what his deal is. But... It is what it is. Here's a little piece I can stick back on there. That's like really bad right there. I don't know what happened with this recipe. Oh well. Still decent sized cake. Pieces. And it's, I don't have to fix it too much, so. I still think it's so cute. <laughs> Alright, guys, two more pieces. I have to redo this recipe and try this one again one day. Not no time soon, because this is a little stressful. I don't like the way it's crumbling. Look, look. look how it's cracked right there. But it's like soft enough to push back together. Dude, mommy don't know what to tell you. You're not going out, bro. You are not. Whoa, I almost took that one off. I don't know what this thing's problem is. Like, hmm. Who knows, guys? The inside's just fine. It's nice, smooth. Except for around the edges, around the top of the cake, which is the bottom. Would have been the top when it was in the mold. Those are some awesome pictures, though. Let's see. Sorry, guys, taking pictures. <laughs> All right, and our last piece, which a chunk came off. Of course it did. Why wouldn't it? We'll push our melt and pour back down on there. Give it a little bit of a... Yeah, the top did not look like that when I pulled it out the, uh, I wonder if pouring, no, the melting pour wouldn't have nothing to do with the middle. You ever say, I wonder if it's me, look at that, pouring the melting pour on there, see how it's cracking off right here? Oh, right here. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm closer than what I thought it was. But I, all I gotta do is push it back on there and push down on it a little bit and it fixes it pretty much. I mean, it don't look perfect, but... Yeah. Hmm. That is weird. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to perfect my, um, or re redo my recipe next time I do this bun cake. Still turned out decent. I like it. So, let's get this cleaned off and I'll put the pieces back on here since we got her cut. And set her out to dry. Um, let me see. I really don't want to... I don't want all these pieces on there sticking to the bottom of the cake. So, let me just wipe this off. Okay. Wipe my pan off. Happening here. Okay. All right, guys. I'll put the bun cake back on. I'll probably trim some of this mountain pour, especially the pieces that are pushing out off of the cake, like this one.
But I'll do that later. I ain't gonna make you guys sit here and watch me do all that. <laughs> I think it turned out fabulous. What do you guys think? Do you like it or not? I love it. And it smells oh so good. So whoever buys any will just have to cut it in half their self. Um, let's see if we can get it put on here. Alright, there we go guys. All that bun cake. And it smells, oh, it smells so good. I don't know if you guys remember, but I sent it in a 7-Up bun cake. I think is what it was called. Let me grab it. 7-Up pound cake. My fault. 7-Up pound cake from Nature's Garden. And it smells, oh my god, it smells so good. But look, I almost got the picture, like mine. I poured it over the top and yay! I did it and let me know what you guys think give me a big thumbs up um, subscribe to my channel uh, go ahead and leave me some comments love it when you guys comment and talk to me um, but yeah other than that you guys enjoy your day and stay blessed thanks for joining me and thanks for watching bye bye now